Welcome to our kitchen. You're probably not familiar with the neon, but everyone's familiar with the drill in their house. You, call, you come home at night at six o'clock, you're tired, you've got a lot of things that you have to finish off in the, in the house, in the kitchen, so you start cooking, you start doing laundry, you're using hot water. The problem is, everyone comes home at the same time. Everyone turns on their laundry, they all turn on their stove, they all start doing dishes and washing things. When that occurs, you get a peak on the electrical system. The peak demand occurs typically late in the afternoon, summer months, and what happens is that the utility companies have to turn on extra assets, extra generators, extra transmission lines in order to provide enough electricity to meet the demands of all the consumers. What they're looking at doing to help reduce the demand and to help control the demand is they're going to go to time of use pricing. In time of use pricing, you pay different prices for electricity depending upon the time of day. Electricity would be very inexpensive late at night when there's low demand. It would get much, much more expensive during those peak hours that we just talked about during the afternoon. The way the system will work is that the utility will send out some sort of an electronic signal. That electronic signal will go to the smart meter on your house. The smart meter will then know what the new price is that you'll be paying for electricity at that time. What we're doing differently here at GE Consumer and Industrial is we have our appliances also listening for that electronic signal. When they receive that electronic signal, they'll then start to operate a little bit differently. Take, for example, our new hybrid heat pump water heater. By running in heat pump mode, it reduces the amount of energy required to heat water by up to 50%. What this means to the consumer is that that will reduce your energy bill for heating water by about $250 per year. In peak mode, what the hybrid water heater will do is it will turn off its upper resistance element and run solely in its sealed system reducing the power demand by up to 80%, going from 4,500 watts down to 800 watts of power required to heat water for the consumer. Another product to talk about would be our smart dryer. A smart dryer in peak mode will go from two heaters to a single heater. Now this will take a little bit longer to dry your clothes, but it won't take twice as long. And what it will do for you is it will reduce the power demand from 5,400 watts down to 2,700 watts a reduction of 50%. During peak pricing, our ranges will encourage you to cook in a more energy efficient mode. The range will encourage you to use the small upper oven, which is more energy efficient and takes less time to preheat. They'll also reduce the power going to the cooktop, still allowing you to cook as you normally do, but reducing the waste heat into the kitchen. Some of our products will simply ask to be allowed to delay the cycle. For example, dishwashers will ask to be allowed to delay the cycle from six o'clock when you normally do dishes to more like 11 o'clock at night when the power costs are much, much lower. Refrigerators will delay defrost and will just go ahead and cool your food during the evening hours and will then will defrost the refrigerator late in the evening when power is cheap, helping you save money and reduce the carbon footprint in your home. 